And welcome back, YouTube. Today, from the exciting world of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, presented in one seventh scale, made by Pink Fat, abbreviated PF Studios, we have the Elemental Hero, Bastinatrix, and an incredibly beautiful one seventh scale statue. Now, I do have to say, this is an amazing work of art, and it is quite the hefty statue. Just to give you an idea, I'm going to kind of pan down here for a second. This is also quite a tall statue. Right there. Bring it back up. It's a very simple statue in terms of design. Not a whole lot of bells and whistles. However, it is beautiful. Sometimes less is more. You don't need a whole bunch of little trinkets and design pieces in order to make a figure beautiful. You just need the character to come to life. And this is near perfection if I have ever seen an anime figure before. All right. So first we're going to take a closer look at the actual base here. We have a lovely placard saying E Hero for Elemental Hero, and then her name in Japanese. And then, I don't know if that's just like a detail crack or if that's actually a crack that happened on the base. I, I like to think it's meant to be there because it kind of gives it a bit of character. And this statue actually does light up. You can connect a USB port in there, and then the base, the fire, uh, will actually light up and give a really cool effect. Alright, and then we're going to take a look at the actual fire formation here, and I gotta say, it is beautiful. It's not flat, it actually has a beautiful translucency to it. It goes from orange to the tip of the flame reds, all the way around the uh, base. It's beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. And then we'll kind of take a look at uh, Burstinatrix's boots here. Lovely shade, a darker shade of red than her, I want to say almost like a body paint that's going on at the top there. And then at the bottom here, here let me get the lighting in a better situation. You actually have really cool, uh, like diamond shapes there, I really like that quite a bit. Move that to the side, get the lighting back. Okay, cool. And then on the back, you can see the wrinkles going into the boot. And I never noticed this before, but uh, Burstinatrix's uh, boots, according to this, one kind of goes up to the knee, the other one goes almost all the way up to her thigh. And you got the little uh, pointed arm guard on her right boot and the pointed knee on her left boot. I never noticed that before. Her boots are different sizes. That's kind of a cool little feature. Whoa, I don't want it to fall off the base. That would not be, that would not be good. And then it's a very simple body paint red going up 
uh, her left leg and part of her right leg kind of transfers into almost this like a white. I want to say that's body paint as well. And it goes all the way around the character here. And I do have to say I love the fact that this is the uncensored Japanese a card came to life instead of the censored American version. The American one looks like she's wearing a giant red sweater vest. And of course reduction to the uh, breast size. This is the uncensored Japanese version of the art, which I much prefer in this case. You got a lovely belly button there. Of course, I love her... Uh, what, what do you, they're kind of like gauntlets with the giant spike elbows. I mean, literally, you could just spike someone and, you know, you elbow someone, that's going to be the most painful elbowing you're ever going to get with those spikes. And, of course, the uh, fingertips, it, the gauntlet doesn't cover the fingertips, so she could easily access her cell phone. By the way, that's a joke. I do have to say... Very simple, but very elegant. I'm going to go to the back side here. Now I have to say, the hair is actually pretty dang good for an anime figure. Usually the hair is where a lot of anime figures fail, because it looks like either a mop, spaghetti, or just absolutely flat. And i got to say, for anime hair, this is pretty good. It's it's de it definitely looks a bit mop-ish, but I've definitely seen a heck of a lot worse for anime hair. I love the way it goes from the darker tone to the lighter tone. And one other cool thing is her helmet is a beautiful gold with a point it has that green gem right in the uh, crown jewel of the piece. She also has a very lovely uh, fl flame coming out of her hand. Can, once again, re reinforcing the fact that she is uh, incredibly power with fire. Incredibly power. Her power is fire based. Stinatrix. And another great feature, which I wish more anime figures would do, but they don't. Let me kind of have her become headless for a second here. There we go. Is in here, instead of having the normal uh, peg and hole system, they reinforce it with magnets. So this the top of her uh, neck here actually has a magnet, and so does inside her head here. So that's why when you snap it into, pay into place, it's not going to be all loose. It actually snaps on and holds, which is a fantastic feature that I wish more anime figure companies would do instead of just the regular peg and hole system, which doesn't always hold up over time. And actually, I do want to get a closer look at her face, just so I don't have to move the whole statue. Her eyes are painted really well. Looks like she's looking off to the right there. The face paint is beautiful. It looks like she's ready for war. And her expression is one of not quite... You know, it's it's a nice expression. It, it looks like a slight smile, but not overly excited to uh, jump into the fray. It's like, yeah, I'm ready for a fight, but I'm not, you know, craving war. So, I, I do like that expression that she is sharing on her face. So, yeah, that is... Burstinatrix, an absolutely beautiful anime figure. And another thing to note, so apparently this is a limited edition one, 
and they uh, apparently only made 99 units. And I do have number 17 out of 99. A nice little bonus feature there. Apologies, it's getting a bit blurry. Let me fix, hopefully fix the blurriness here. There we go. And another nice little perk is, at least I got one. Uh, when you buy this anime figure, I also got a nice little acrylic stand. I'm not a huge, I don't care for acrylic stands too much, but since I got it for free with the figure, I will uh, keep it and display it. Now, the only, one of the big drawbacks is for a 1 7 scale, this is a tall figure. You definitely need shelf space to dedicate to it. Give me one second here. I'm going to show you just approximately how tall this figure is. Alright, so I grabbed a couple of classic PlayStation 2 games with their case. And I'm going to show you just how tall this figure is. So, if I stack two PlayStation 2 games on top of each other, one game barely reaches the top of her knees. Two games is taller than her, but not by a whole lot once you include her crown. So if you so a good way to measure it is to take if you have two PlayStation 2, Xbox 360, Wii, GameCube, uh, original Xbox, basically take two copies, stack them on top of each other, and if you have enough room, then you have, then the, you're going to fit the statue no problem. If you are a little bit short, I'd say you have about an inch to work with. If, if it's, uh, to if your space is taller, or if you can't fit two games stacked on top of each other like that, but it's not, but it's just barely not enough room then you should be able to fit it but anything anything more than that it's it, you will not be able to fit this particular figure unfortunately <clears throat> so with that said uh i i do want to say this is an absolutely beautiful figure and i definitely recommend adding this to anybody Yu-Gi-Oh's collection especially if you are a gx fan and you don't mind a bit of sexiness added to your collection i will say this uh, the studio, the PF studio, they they kind of teased a couple of other ones that they may make down the line if their studio stays afloat and they also uh, sell enough units. And the other two that they teased a part of this line, which, like I said, they're silhouettes, but you could pretty much tell what they are, was Elemental Hero Avion. And Elemental Hero Flame Wingman. And let me tell you, if they make both of those, I will be adding both of those to this collection and be doing videos for them. Because it would be so awesome to have uh, the Fusion Evolution line of Flame Wingman in this scale statue. Not only that, but to be able to have one of Jaden's early boss monsters would be incredible to have in... Uh, figure form like that. So, with all that said, what is my final verdict on this particular uh, Yu-Gi-Oh statue? Well, if I had to give it a scale of 1 to 10, it's easily a 9.5. This is a beautiful statue worthy of adding to anybody's collection. I have very few flaws with this at all. I have not tested the uh, a light up feature so I don't know if that works but uh, besides that like I said sometimes less is more you don't need a lot of bells and whistles and this is the definitive uh, statue to prove that 
And I got to say, um, yeah, that, that's pretty much all I have to say. Let me know in the comments down below if you would add this particular statue to your collection. And as always, hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Hit that subscribe button. It helps out the channel a lot. And I will see you in the next video. This is Booster Maxbuster, and I'm signing out. Peace.